Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be doing a grocery haul. This one is a little bit bigger than some of my other ones. Uh, when we were bringing everything in, it kind of took over my whole, almost my whole table. So we're gonna go through this really quick and show you some of the things that I got and then kind of talk about some of the meals that we will be making with some of them. I have my meal ideas right here with me just so I can share them with you. I recently just went on the other day and I don't do a lot of meal planning and I kind of said that in my question and answer video. I'm not really big into that because I'm not like the best when it comes to that, but I need to get better. And I got a couple meals that I have planned. We have Eli's birthday coming up on Friday and we have some stuff planned or birthday party, I should say. Did I say party? Anyways, so I have stuff for that and then things for the rest of the week that I have put together that I think will work. And if it doesn't, then we try something else. But I'm just gonna go over most of this with you and do my best on covering everything and hopefully everything makes sense. Um, I did buy extra of things this time just because we have a new uh, stand-up freezer that somebody gave us. So that's exciting. We also have like a deep, uh, what is that? Deep freezer and then a fridge out in our garage and then a fridge in our house. And I kind of was saying we almost need another one because it would be nice to put all our drinks and everything in one fridge and then food in a fridge and then whatever we need in the house fridge would work. Um, but maybe that'll come in time. So we do have space for a lot of this now. We didn't in the past. I mean, we like we would have to buy very minimal to get through the week just because of the storage that we have or had and now we have to where I can put a lot of stuff away. So, okay, I forgot to mention that three things were substituted and I usually allow them to just substitute when I do our Walmart pickup. Oh, I forgot to mention that too, that this was a Walmart pickup order. And I didn't get bacon, onion powder, and something else. So I'm gonna have to go back and get bacon because one of my meals has to do with bacon and I need that. So, and I mean, I do have like bacon bit kind of things. Maybe I can just get away with using them. I'm not sure, but all right, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here. Three bunch of, or three bags of potatoes. I am going to be making this garlic butter steak and potato foil packets. I'm also going to be making Parmesan crusted chicken with green beans and potatoes. So I needed a bunch of potatoes. We also like baked potatoes, so I got that for that reason. Um, I usually don't buy this many potatoes because it ends up getting bad before we even get to them, but I do have meals planned for them. So, or I just make extras with another meal. Okay, um, we have green beans and that is for that uh, one meal that I said, the Parmesan crusted stuff. If you guys are interested, I can leave you guys links for the stuff that I found on Pinterest. Just let me know. All right, so I have one, two, three things of coleslaw. I used to cut up cabbage when I made my egg rolls, but I found that just buying the bags makes it so much easier for me. So I have three bags of them. And then I also found that if I just get the shredded carrots, that works easy enough for me too when we make the egg rolls. And then we also have lettuce and stuff to make salads with them. I have just a little bag of lettuce. I sometimes usually get the romaine lettuce and this time I didn't, so we'll just have little salads with that. Um, I have a whole bag of apples. Last time, for some reason, I ended up only getting two apples. I don't know what I did with my order, but this time I got the whole bag of apples. I have a bag of grapes, the red grapes. I have a bag of green grapes. 
Um, and then that I just usually pull out for any meal or meal times and like lunch and breakfast and stuff. I'll just pull that out. I have onions and these I use for chili and some other stuff that I will be making with that salsa. Um, I'm going to be adding these to uh, chick like an easy chicken taco recipe. I have parsley for the Parmesan chicken meal. I have cucumber or uh, broccoli for just at, like our side. And then I have a uh, cucumber that me and Miles eat with a certain kind of seasoning that we add to that. I have our jalapenos and I think I got too many, but I will probably freeze some of them. I have some cilantro for our salsa. I have a package of bacon bits and this we usually add with our either like omelets or our salads. All right, so for the white chicken chili that I'm gonna be making, I have pinto beans and then I also have cans of Nalini beans. I have two of them. I have four or five cans of the whole potatoes. Um, I just kind of cook them up with carrots every once in a while. I have, let's see, yeah, I have a couple cans of them. I have peach chunks, and that's going in with the orange fluff that I will be making. Also with these cherries that I will be adding. I also have pineapple that I will be adding to that orange fluff also. Okay, I also have some pico here for our chicken tacos. So I have that. Four cans of Rotel um, for our salsa. And then I have two cans of whole tomatoes. And I add one can for two of these for our salsa. If you guys want the recipe, just leave me a, a comment. Um, I have some seasonings here. Oregano, uh, chili powder, and ground cumin. So one of them that I didn't get was the onion powder. Um, I have water chestnuts for our egg rolls. I have some grape jelly because we are going to be making some barbecue, shredded barbecue um, sandwiches. I am going to be putting that in the slow cooker. So that is what I got. And then I'm going to bring you over here quick because I have our... Um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue is usually what we use. I have some, we needed some more sriracha, so I got some sriracha. I have some ranch because we were running out of ranch. I have some like green hot sauce here and then some of this um, salsa stuff here. And this is going to be added to the chicken tacos. I have some Italian dressing, and this also is gonna be for one of the meals I will be making. We go through so much ketchup, so I got extra bottles that we'll just store off to the side until we need them. Okay, so that is that side of the table. I'm gonna bring you over here quick. I have a bunch of packets of the Sloppy Joe mix. We usually get this, time, this kind or like the Walmart kind or whatever, so we got that. And then I usually never get the beef stew packets, but I wanted to try it out because I have some beef stew. So I want to try that out. I have a couple meals planned, so we'll see how it goes. We always go through taco packets and tacos. And I want to start like making more hamburger and then freezing it so that we don't always have to worry about it when the time comes. So that is a goal of mine. Um, I have my chili packets. This is usually what I add to my chili and then I have the beef stroganoff that I also want to make sometime this week. Um, Parmesan, we usually like this, uh, the course, because we add it to our salads and then also to our spaghetti. Um, we ran out of cheese, and the other day we were going to make homemade pizzas, and we had, like, no cheese. We were, like, trying to unthaw our frozen stuff, and oh, my goodness. So um, we have the mild cheddar. Fiesta Blend, Kobe and Monterey Jack. We have mozzarella, Parmesan, and Taco Blend. So some of these, we put them in wraps. And, uh, well, the Parmesan and the mozzarella, we can make like quesadillas and stuff. 
And then some of them we put in wraps and they eat it with like hot sauce or whatever they want to um, use it with. Okay, so let's see. As for pizzas, we've been kind of going all over the place with pizzas lately. We do like Jack's, but we kind of like trying different ones too. Okay, so we got Jack's Pizza. We have the classic crust um, four cheese pizza, Red Baron. Um, Hudson likes the home run, so I got that. Um, rising crust cheese pizza. I got the generic one just because it was it's a little bit cheaper. Um, another Red Baron, but the pepperoni. And then I got two Tony's cheese pizza. So we're going to give this a try. We haven't tried that yet. So we'll see how we like it. All right. So I have, I was going to get cans of corn this time, but I know a lot of people like frozen better. So I got three packages of frozen uh, corn. Okay, we have waffle cut fries. I have two packs of them. Tater tots for my tater tater tot bake that I'm going to be making. I have some red robin steak fries. And I bought two of them. That way then I don't have to keep going back to the store and we have a lot of it on hand. Like I said, we have a freezer now and we're able to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that side of the table and kind of go over some of that over there. I have the popcorn chicken the kids like that and then I have the family size chicken nuggets and sometimes we put these in wraps with cheese we have the Arby's fries curly fries and then we have the um, seasoned fries so that is with that I'm gonna move on to like our breakfast stuff and things that we eat for breakfast or like off time and stuff like that so this time I have two boxes of the strawberry toaster strudels um, the kids kind of slowed down a little bit on that but I figured if I just have them on hand they can have that pancake and waffle mix we always make pancakes and waffles Miles is the one that always has like stomach issues and stuff. So breakfast is kind of hard and other meals can be kind of hard. So he'll put one of these in the toaster and he likes them. So I get that for him. And then I bought six things of frozen strawberries. Um, maybe later when strawberries are easier to get or are better, I can start freezing our own and making maybe our own stuff. But I got six of these this time and we put this on our waffles or cereal or just eat them, you know, like out of a bowl or whatever when we have them unthawed. So I have six of them. And then I have some yogurt. You guys know in some of my other ones we have yogurt with M&Ms. I have two of them. I do have a plain yogurt because this one is going to be used in one of the meals I will be making. If I if I remember, I'll just say the name of the meals that I will be making it on the end or like the bottom of the screen and show you because I don't remember this one. And then I have these whip toppings because this is going to be part of that um, orange fluff that I was talking about. I have two boxes of maple brown sugar. Miles will eat this also, and this doesn't bother him. And then I have two dinosaur oatmeals. My kids will eat this um, kind of randomly. And then when my granddaughter comes over, she cannot have like certain things like dairy, um, eggs, butter, all milk, all sorts of things. And this is like one of the things when she comes over to my house, I try to have for her and uh, she likes that. And then for Christmas, I even bought her a box of her own. So a lot of the kids like that. And then um, we have the spray whipped cream because we have this with either our coffee or waffles or pancakes and stuff like that. So I have two of them. And we were running low on our syrup, so I bought some of that. All right, so I'm going to go back. Oh, no, here we go. Okay, so for our cereal, we got Cookie Crisp, 
Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Mini Wheats, and, sorry, I gotta push my chair here, Lucky Charms. So that is what we have for breakfast. Delight Creamer for our coffee. We make caramel coffee, iced coffee, and then we have our Starbucks coffee that we like. So we have that. I think that's all I have for breakfast. And then um, we just made, if you guys follow me on Instagram or uh, on my Facebook page, I was stating that my, or Eli, it was his birthday and he made himself or made us dirt pudding and I ended up getting extra so we can make some more. Here is our orange uh, jello for our orange fluff. So that is what that is about. And then um, I have two bags of the mini chocolate chips. They have that on their waffles. So I guess I wasn't done with the breakfast stuff, but that's okay. And then what else do I have for you guys? Okay. All right. So this goes in that dirt pudding too. So I got a big bag of gummy worms. Um, and then for them chicken tacos, I bought... Oh, I ended up getting small ones of these and I wanted bigger ones, but that's okay for like tacos. But the chicken tacos um, go in the little ones. I also want to get an uh, air fryer uh, taco holder and then you can make tacos in the air fryer. So maybe that would be one of my videos. Um, I bought four packages of egg roll wraps because we are going to make egg rolls for Eli's birthday. Um... Two things of Oreos because one whole thing goes to that dirt pudding. And I think, okay, so that is that for like kind of random stuff over on this side of the table. I'm going to go over the meat and stuff with you. And then I will finish up with some of the other stuff on the other side of the table. Okay, so I have two of these roasts. The last two roasts that we liked um, it seemed like there was more fat than meat, so I wanted to try something different. I had to pay a little bit more to have better quality meat, so I'm hoping that I can cook both of these and we'll have more meat versus what we were getting before, so um, I'll probably save more money anyways by not wasting so much because of the fat, so usually then we just kind of give it to our chickens and whatever else we have left over. Um, I have two of these Italian sausage. I usually just get regular pork sausage for our egg rolls, but you can't order that on the Walmart order. But I've made it with this before, and it doesn't taste bad. So that's what that is. Um, this is going to be used for the chicken tacos. So two of the chicken thigh fillets, you just cook them on the um, frying pan, and you tear them apart, and then add them to your chicken mix. Um, two packages of hot dogs. Um, I have some deli turkey meat and some deli ham and we have bread and stuff to go along with that but I'll go over that with you in a minute. I have four things of hamburger. We have some hamburger out in the fridge right now and uh, so I just got a little bit and then um, we are going to be making them potato steak foiled wraps for in the oven. So I have, that's why I have this. And then here's our stew meat. So I have that. Um, and then I kind of wanted to maybe do some beef stroganoff too. So I don't know if one package might be for one and then another package for another, or maybe I have to use both for one. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Um, but I do have a lot of chicken meals coming up, so I needed a lot of chicken. I can freeze some of this. Um, if I was smart, I would cut some of this and start freezing it individually so that we don't have to work with all of that at one time. But I'm thinking right now. So the Parmesan crusted chicken, and I think there was another chicken one that I will be making. So I have four things of breadsticks. We usually go through two at a meal, um, if not three, and then we use the Olive Garden dressing to go with that. Two packages of tacos, and then I have a five pack of macaroni. Um, I'm not sure if I went over the breadcrumbs, but I have that for the Parmesan chicken. I have 
I wanted to try some different like buns, but this is going to be for the um, barbecue chicken that I'm going to be making. That's another reason why I have the chicken also. So the barbecue chicken, I have the sliced Italian bread. Um, I like this better for some reason than like the whole kind. So I have two of them. And then I do have the whole one and Gage usually likes this one. So I only got him one. And if we don't use it, I'll just freeze it and use it another time. I have two packages of hot dog buns. I try to go with uh, the Walmart brand as much as possible to save on money. But when it comes to like the macaroni and stuff, I tried the generic and my kids didn't like it. So I did end up um, doing that for that. Um, I have a whole thing of canola oil because we will be making egg rolls and I usually use almost a whole thing to do that. I have two packages of corn dogs. This is one of my substitutes. I had a full package of like 22 and they didn't have it. So they gave me 216 for the same price of um, the 22 pack. So I actually got more for a cheaper price, which is super cool that they do that. I have four things of milk. Now, when we buy like four gallons, that's pretty much all we can fit in our outside freezer or fridge because we have other meats and different things in there. And this takes up most of our room. That's why I was saying if we had another fridge just for our drinks and stuff, that would make things a lot easier. All right. So then I have Doritos here. We usually get the scoop kind or regular uh, Tocito chips because of our salsa. So this time I bought three bags because last time we go through like a bag when we make our salsa. So I uh, wanted to make sure that we had enough this time. And we usually like the, the ranch Doritos versus the cheese ones. Okay, and then you know in my other videos, we use a lot of the nacho cheese, so we get a lot of the mild, and then we also get the jalapeno kind. We have a mix in our family of who likes spicy and who doesn't, so that's why you'll see like we have hot sauce, and some kids will not eat any of the hot sauce. All right, so one more, one more breakfast thing, and you guys know we always have waffles, mainly almost every single morning. I know it's probably not our best choice, but we do have eggs that we can make and uh, stuff. And a lot of times it depends on what, ch like what child wants what. So like, even though Miles can't have dairy, he can handle our eggs. And I was just talking to somebody recently and they were saying that if you have a dairy issue and you are using farm fresh eggs, um, you have less irritation using farm fresh eggs than you do store bought. So not sure if that's a thing, but that's just what I heard. So I think, it, oh no, I have one, one or two more things over here I will share with you. All right, I have some cream cheese because we need that for the um, pudding, that dirt pudding. And then my kids have Nutella for breakfast. Also, I have um, some candy necklaces for Eli's party on coming this coming week. And then I also have two black tablecloths to go with his theme that he picked out that he wanted. Um, I bought some uh, waterproof, removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. So I don't usually buy anything really from the store as much. I have been using it. I just ran out of my Mary Kay stuff. Um, so I needed something really quick. So I ended up getting this. I'm not sure if this is even going to work, but until I can order more of my other stuff, then this is what I will be using. I have a whole pack of ring pops and this is going to be added to our Valentine's. So, cause we will be having a Valentine party and I wanted to pack some stuff up for the grandkids and then also for my kids. So I think that's pretty much it. And I hope I covered everything with you guys. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I noticed that you guys are kind of liking my 
um, grocery hauls. And like I said, I will do the beginning of the month ones and then I will do one at the end of the month. And both times might be different just because of what's going on at that time of the month. But I'm willing to do two in a month um, because things just get a little bit different at different times. But like I said, we are going to be having multiple birthdays. So you're going to see a lot of birthday stuff involved. A lot of stuff I order on Amazon. If you guys want an Amazon haul, I can do that. I have other hauls coming up pretty soon. So, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like that. If you guys have any like other videos you want me to share with you guys, if you have any questions on some of the things that we feed our kids, you know, I went in my question and answer that um, I do have one child. And like I said in this video that has issues like with his stomach and stuff. And we kind of just work around that when it comes to mealtime or he ends up having to have his own meal and that is just separate. But that's not our whole family. So I don't really have to cook special for everybody versus him if that makes sense. So that's pretty much the only thing that we really have to work around. Um, but I do need to get better with meal planning. It would make our life a lot easier. Gage really enjoys um, like cooking and making some of the meals. So if he wants to take over and stuff, that would be great. So you guys like today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I'm feeling so